We're catching them how you like to catch them today, man. Swim baits, top water, clipping and plopping, throwing a freaking burrito. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. Right on. You a YouTuber? Yep. That's a by God dragon boy. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I've got another fun on the water video for you today. In this one, I'm going out and I'm putting the Heater Series Swim Bait Special, the newest rod in the lineup of Heater Series rods to the test. Up until this point, I had yet to catch a fish on the Heater Series Swim Bait Special. I've gone out and I've thrown multiple baits with it and just got a feel for the rod, how it casts, how it performs on a retrieve with a multitude of baits, hard swim baits primarily, multi-jointed swim baits and glide baits, but I also wanted to see how it would do with a soft bait. So I tied on this bad boy right here. This is the Baca Burrito, and this is the Tactical Shad color from Tactical Bassin. Shout outs to Matt and Tim on creating a really awesome color. I headed out on the home pond in search of a dragon as always, right? And I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler alert there, because guess what guys, we're gonna hook into a dragon in this one. And we're gonna throw a few other baits as well. We're gonna be bop around, hit some different spots. We're actually gonna bump into another fishing YouTuber that we met out there on the water. Shout outs, dude, if you're watching. And we're just gonna have a fun day of fishing. So without taking up too much more of your time, let's go ahead, head out onto the water. I'm gonna kick it off at the first spot, throwing the first bait, the soft swim bait on the brand new Heater Series Swim Bait Special. And we're gonna hook into a dragon. Let's go fishing. That's a dragon. That's a dragon on the burrito. She knocked it too. That's a, that's a by God dragon, boy. Get up here, girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Burrito in the throat. freaking tank first ever fish on the heater series swim bay special first ever fish on the baca burrito and it's a dragon that right there is what i came out here for today awesome tank of a fish swim bait bite is turning on the big fish are pushing up caught a dragon out here yesterday on the mini max i wanted to come back out here today and throw the big baits look at that that's a beautiful beautiful fall time swim bait hitter right there dragon just awesome man just awesome all right we about to let her go right here you ready, big girl? Thanks for the fight. Thanks for eating for us. That was awesome. She's ready. There she goes, right up under the boat. I'm about to scratch Dave's prop if I'm not careful. Let's get old June bug out of the rocks. See if we can do that again. That was awesome. Dragon alert. That was sick. She freaking inhaled it, dude. Inhaled it good solid bite right in the roof of the back of her mouth oh we just had another one pop it everything else from here on out is just a bonus boys came out here with big baits in mind told myself i was going to keep from picking up that chatter bait at all costs and just throw the big baits around hoping for one bite and there if we didn't get it early full-blown dragon she freaking crushed it dude that was awesome good fight freaked me out i didn't know how good i had her hooked 
Freaking heater series swim bait special, dudes. My newest rod in the heater series lineup right here, man. Seven, eight, extra heavy, fast. Crack that hook set, boom. Kept her pin, showed her who's the boss. And it ain't Tony Danza. We got Kyle's rolling up. I don't even care. I don't even care. But it's that little Baca burrito. Bullshad makes them now. A little silicone single hook soft bait. And man, this thing swims and rocks, man. It's got a, a head shake and a, and a shake, rattle, and roll, man. We need one twice that size. We get one twice that size and go to the house. See, we got two wake boats right here beside me just going back and forth. Entire empty lake. They just gravitate to the bass boats. It's, it's, I don't know what, what, what the strategy is. That's the strategy. There's a bass boat. Let's go surf right there. Never fails. I don't care. Got what I came for. Everything else is just a bonus. I might throw the plopper around. Got some top water on deck. I'm trying to keep from picking up that mini max. I don't want you guys to get bored with the baits we're throwing. But yeah, the plan for today was big baits. At least while we got this cloud cover. Worked out so far. Let's keep grinding. What are you throwing so I don't throw the same thing? Swim baits? Yeah, I just smashed a, a monster. Really? Yeah, I keep throwing it. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop. Yeah, I caught 30 yesterday throwing small baits, so I'm throwing big baits today. And that Right on. You a YouTuber? Yep. Awesome. And you're Justin, right? That's me. Yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Man. Yeah, you too, man. Good luck to you. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't try to cut you off. No, I wasn't either. I, yeah. I Absolutely. No, nah, it's, it's all good. It's all good, brother. I, oh. Another angler? All peace. It's these other maniacs that I'm trying know, to stay man. out of the way. <laughs> you too, dude. <laughs> back over here to that spot where I caught that dragon yesterday might as well hit it real quick might as well well they're still on the chatterbait it looks like Pulled up and caught us one, boys. Skinny dude. You need to eat, brother. That chatterbait bite can be so weird. I wasn't even sure what was going on just then. Just decided to swing. It was a fish, but it did not feel like a fish or a bite whatsoever. It just felt goofy. If you guys haven't seen my recent Mini Max beatdown videos, Go check those out here on the channel. Gosh, we've caught some freaking fish on this bait lately. Including, but not limited to, a freaking dragon yesterday. This right here is what we come out here for. She ate it twice too. Ate it and then came off and then ate it again. Yesterday for me, not sure what day it'll be for y'all, but one day ago, I was out here. I caught like 30 in the dragon and it was awesome. I was actually at home editing that video this morning and I just kept looking out the window and seeing these clouds. I was like, man, I wanna go fish this cloud cover. I could not help myself. I had to get out here, see if they were still eating. There's two off this spot. Here come Kyle. You gonna come surf right here. Let me know he can freaking surf, bro. I just come at Ropeless, training for the X Games 2023. Keep your eye out for me on ESPN soon, dude. I'm gonna be getting super pitted. Another one. <whistles> Yeet. He yeeted. He yeeted. Those little guys are fun. You know, these little chatterbait bangers are fun. But I came out here looking for that one we already caught. I came out here looking for a tank today, throwing these big baits. Paid off, pay off. There's, oh God dang. He was right here eating it. I might've missed him though, I don't know. What do you guys think, did I miss that fish? Yeah, I couldn't resist 
getting back out here trying to make some more fun fishing content for you guys. Whether we're throwing the big baits, throwing the little mini max. It's like, dude, I gotta go catch some more fish. Gotta get it while the getting's good, man. This bike is shut off any hour. You don't wanna be that joker that stayed at the house when you could have come out here and caught a dragon. I just sent my wife a picture of that fish. I said, this is why you get up and go. Even when you're not sure. This right here. That's why you get up and go. Wifey's super supportive, man. She, she'll encourage me to go fishing no matter what time of day or year it is, man. At the drop of a hat. She's like, yep, you should go. What if we threw up over here into this corner and caught another dragon? How cool would that be? It would be super cool, guy. Super pitted. Super awesome. Need another whale. I ran out of whales while I was out here yesterday, but I had the wherewithal to put another pack in here. This is the Pro Shad color. I like this color a lot too. I was throwing the Pro Blue, I think is what that one is. This one right here, Pro Shad. Let's switch it up a little bit. Technically throwing a different bait now, right? There's a bunch of whales on the floor. This little matchup right here, dude. This little team, this dynamic duo, the whale matched up with the Chatterbait Mini Max. Dude. It's freaking poison, dude. It's poison. Fish brain poison. I can't not eat it. I'm not going to spend too much time on this spot. I just want to come over here and check. See if there might be a couple. There were. We got them. Five fish makes a video, so... Got to do the dang thing. There's one. Oh my gosh. Bait just disappeared. That was a crazy bite. The bait just freaking disappeared. That was about to be a good fish. Sucked it up and spit it out. Boy, these dang wake boats are. They're out here. It's Friday right now, so. They're going to make it fun, make it interesting. Let's throw a wake bait around for a little bit. Spot number three. Haven't fished over here in a while. Tried to come here yesterday, but there was a boat back here, so I'll let them have it. Throw this movement 80 wake around. There's one. Oh, he knocked it. Is it a guad? He crushed it like a guad. Water loopster. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's a dark guad, too. He's down there on the rocks. Golden bronze boy. Cool. Trying to avoid picking up that dang chatterbait. Boy, back here, there's no Kyles. That's nice. Looks like a spot for, spot for the old flush garuski. The spot is crazy though, man. I remember not long ago, we were up there in that little cave with the boat. Some crazy looking water. It's a lot different. Let's try, should we try plipping and plopping? See if we can just make somebody mad. You know, 130, that big plug. Exploded on it. There we go. All right. Ah, oh, and he came off. Couple adjustments, and we had us a plopper hitter. All right. That's all I need to see. I'm gonna throw this big plopper plopper for the rest of the time. See if we can get some top water blow ups to round out this dragon chasing mission. 
That was cool. Plopper is always fun, dudes. He freaking skittish, but he came off. Where she goes, boys? Can't win them all. Hopefully that's not a lone ranger. We can get some more on this plopper. Come unglued. We need him to come unglued. That's less than ideal. Sometimes, man, you just hit a rock here and it just stops stuck. And that's it. That's all she wrote. I'm experiencing that now. There we go. What if one just came up and smashed it right there by the boat? That would be so cool. Man, I was hoping I'd get bit again off in here sometime. It's slow going. There we go. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. Can't tell how good of a fish it is yet, but he annihilated it. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's that's about a dragon. Whew. That's about a dragon right there. Fired up dragon. plopper not as big as that first one but another nice fish man that's a fun bite right there too i mean that's a fun bite heck yeah dudes that's what's up man that's a fun bite that fish freaking unleashed the fury power hour let's keep it going find some more of that that is fun. Dude, they're, they're mad at this thing. The 130 millimeter Whopper Plopper is where it is at, dudes. That little spritzer is cool, the 90. The 110 is all right. It starts, starts getting good with the 110, but the 130, that's the one that makes the, the signature plop, the Whopper Plopper noise as it was intended. And it catches numbers and big fish. I, I would recommend if you're throwing a plopper, a 110 or a 90, upsize, get that 130. Because man, this thing right here gets them so mad. That was awesome. Okay. We were just talking about how I hadn't been bit, but you don't get quite as many, you know, bites on a bait like this sometimes. But the bites you do get are super fun. And that was a good time. That being said, there are days when I come out here and throw this thing and just absolutely annihilate them and, and catch them back to back to back to back. Whew, that was awesome. Was that fish number five? Five fish makes a video. We're catching them how you like to catch them today, man. Swim baits, top water, plipping and plopping, throwing a freaking burrito. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. You know you look good to me. Breaking in the heater series swim bait special. I mean, come on, buddy. I should be at home editing a video, but here we are. Doing the dang thing. Here we go. Another one. He's doing flips and all kinds of stuff. Running right towards the boat. Look at him. Excuse me. Get over here, little yeet. I thought he was bigger. He hit it so hard, just started going berserk. I ain't mad at it. 
little large mouth. That's what's up. Plopper hit us. Throwing this Whopper Plopper on the Team 6. 7-7 seven, seven Heavy. With the Shimano Corrado DC. 8.5 to 1 on the gear ratio. That way I can just... Max results, minimal effort. Slow roll it, and that thing just plops perfectly. Pop, 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 pop. Plopping and chopping. Sending out that signal. The plop signal. Let those fish know it's time to come eat. Dang. Somehow my bilge got switched on. I'm gonna burn that thing up. guys there that was now like I talked about a little bit at the beginning of the video I had yet to take the heater series out and try it out with the soft baits so that's something that I wanted to do and man did we end up doing it the right way we actually caught a really decent fish there on the Baca burrito put some hot sauce on my burrito baby that's a sweet little bait right there it's got some pretty gnarly action like it really kicks and uh, it's got some head shake and some body roll. It looks really good in the water. And the Heater Series Swim Bait Special 7 foot 8 inch extra heavy fast action Heater Series rod handled that dragon in this soft bait great. If you guys are interested in checking out the Swim Bait Special for yourself or any of the other Heater Series rods that are available, check out SixthSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout. That's going to save you 10% off everything on the website. It's going to knock $15 off the price of the Heater Series Swim Bait Special in any of the Heater Series rods. That's a good little bit of savings there and using the JR10 code goes a long way towards supporting the channel. It enables us to continue bringing you free fishing content here on YouTube. Shout out to the JR10 Army. Secure the heaters. Save the bread and as always anyone who uses my jr10 code on sixcentsfishing.com gets a personalized shout out on my instagram story just take a little screenshot dm it to me at the justin royal and i will post it up tag your accounts just a way for me to say thank you and give you all some public recognition for helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling because without you guys none of this would be possible speaking of instagram we're about to hit 22,000 followers. I have gained almost 10,000 followers in, in like the last month. It's been insane growth over there on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me, it's actually where my online fishing journey began before I started making full length fishing videos for YouTube. And I'll always have a special place in my heart for Instagram and the family that we've built over there. Shout outs to everybody that's new here on the channel and new follow me over there on Instagram. Could not end a video or make a video without giving a massive shout out and thank you to the Heater Army. You guys are incredible. Your monthly support also enables us to continue making these videos. I could never thank you guys enough. Shout outs to the new Heater Army members that joined during the last live premiere that we did for the previous video. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Heater Army, click that link down below in the video description and you yourself can become a Heater Army member and have your name at the end of every video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun hanging out out there on the water with you, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you on the next one.